Welcome back. As promised, we have uh, Medi Assist joining us now. Satish V N Girgu, who is the CEO and whole time director at Medi Assist Healthcare, is with us. Uh, Satish, thanks a lot for joining in. So, just to talk about your numbers this time, right? Your revenues from contracts in Q1 grew by almost 19 percent. The healthcare industry has also been the health insurance industry has been growing quite well, about 25 percent or so. Uh, general insurance is growing at about 15 to 18 percent. So, in that context, would you say that your own growth is a bit suboptimal? And if yes, what is the kind of growth that you would be looking at uh, for the full year for FY25? Thank you uh, for having me here. Uh, always a pleasure as always. So, I think we are fairly in line with the, the premium growth that are reported. We are very focused on the corporate and the retail segments of the general insurance industry. I think our growths are fairly in line uh, with how the industry is, is uh, growing. And like I've always maintained, we hope to stay at par or you know, better the industry growth rates uh, on an annualized basis. So, Sadish, this quarter, your growth was in line with the industry, not superior. Yeah, I think we've, we've uh, I don't, again, good to see you. Uh, we've integrated Raksha. Um, we have uh, improved our overall market share by about 40 you know, basis points within the health insurance industry uh, and continue to grow group. In fact, uh, we've improved our group retention rates from what used to be 92% last year, you know, Q1, to 94%. And we've also significantly expanded on retail. So we are comfortable with where we are. Um, your total right now in this your total premium under management has gone up by 22% in the current quarter uh, last year it was a growth of about 30% uh, so it's a little slower any particular reason for that and what can you guide uh, for the full year so i think our guidance will always be that we'll be at par or better than the uh, general insurance industry growth in in corporate and retail um, you know you're aware that there is a slowdown in the employment growth uh, numbers across the board. Clearly, there is softness in the new employee additions and uh, new headcount additions across the board. So that's a softness that sort of reflects you know, our portfolio as well. Okay. Uh, in terms of, you know, I just want to understand what is your strategy as far as acquisitions are concerned. You made five acquisitions in the last eight years. Uh, will that strategy continue? Is there any acquisition that's lined up in FY25? And primarily, what is it that you're looking at in acquisitions? So we've always said that the acquisitions have always been opportunistic, uh, either to plug a gap in our geographic presence right, in, in India, or to accelerate acquisition of contracts. Uh, and I think typically, we take about three to four quarters to amalgamate. And we'll continue to be opportunistic on uh, m &A, no specific uh, roadmap. And all of our growth typically is predicated on our organic or the same store growth. Mm. How has the government business done this uh, particular quarter? I think we continue to be very actively engaged uh, in the government business. We have also won a couple of new schemes, uh, especially in the state of Karnataka, and our home state. Um, and as always, we are uh, cautiously optimistic uh, on the government segment, we continue to uh, look for contracts that fit our marginal revenue profiles. So is there a particular revenue contribution? Because I think the contribution of government has been going up. It's 9.3% in the current quarter. So by the end of this fiscal year, how much do you think it will contribute and even retail? Uh, typically, the government uh, has been in the circa 10%. And I think it's just oh. a seasonality of the booking revenues. And I think uh, there's not been a material change. Uh, I, I don't think we are really exactly a quarter on quarter business, but on an annualized basis, we've been fairly consistent in our mix of business. Okay, we'll uh, leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining in. I appreciate your time here on CNBC TV 18. That's Medi Assist Healthcare uh, with their numbers as well as the way forward for the business. Let's step into a quick break. The market is still under a bit of pressure. In fact, we'll just get the Nifty uh, chart up for you in a bit to tell you what the latest is over there. Uh, it's not done much today, but it's not recovered either. So very, very quiet, just holding on to 24,100. Let's step into a quick break. When we come back, market technicals with Mitesh. And we'll also discuss their top trading bets. Stay tuned.